Hey, Viking fans, the Minnesota Vikings added a very versatile offensive lineman to the 53-man roster. Let's talk about who that is next in 3, 2, 1. Gather around, Skull Brothers and Sisters. Uh, this is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, at Skull World, and Instagram on MN Sports Podcast. Do me a favor. Help me. Hulk smash the YouTube algorithms by Hulk smashing that like button. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. But also... Ring the bell, turn on those all notifications, and make sure you get my latest content. I appreciate it. That helps the channel, helps YouTube get more Vikings content out there, not less. Let's go, let's go. And I'm here to talk about Hakeem Adeniji. Now, I want to do a video earlier when we picked him up um, off of the Bengals because he was cut. He's a six-round pick. We'll talk about all that. I'm going to read an article real quick. With you guys, I'm reacting that for the same time as you. I'm also going to talk about his NFL. I'm go to his NFL um, player bio at the at, at the the combine draft bio. Again, react in the same way. I did go watch some breakdowns of him uh, that I I will comment on to see what I saw. We'll see what they said about him. Um, this guy's ha got playoff. And in regular season experience, so seasoned seasoned player a little bit. He's been a he's been mainly a backup, but they're they're they thought well of him. So let's 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 dive into it. Let's dive into it. But before we do, if you hit comment, if you do you do a comment in the in the comment section below, you will be entered to have one entry into the Justin Jefferson autographed jersey. So remember that. Comment below, autograph jersey. When I hit three thousand, I'm also giving away the Adam Thielen pop. So just all you have to do is comment below, tell me what you think. Uh, Akeem Adenji after this, and you are entered, my friend. All right, let me pull this up. All right, let's go. On. We're going full screen on this. We're going full screen on this, but let's talk about the report. The Vikings have signed versatile offensive lineman Akeem Adeniji to their active roster from their practice squad, according to the insider Jordan Schultz. Adeniji was added to the Vikings practice squad a little over a month ago prior to the start of the season after he was waived by the Bengals. The 25-year-old was a Bengals six-round pick out of Kansas in 2020. Adeniji started 15 regular season games and seven playoff contests for the Cincinnati over the past three years, spending time at both tackle spots and right guard. Dude, dude was a rookie. They put him at left tackle. So, hey, they, they thought a lot of him coming out. He hasn't earned strong marks from PFF in his career, which is true, but he uh, brings versatility and postseason experience to Minnesota. He started at right guard against Aaron Donald and the Rams at Super Bowl. Uh, I forget how to do Roman numerals. It's been a long time, but uh, was that 56? Um this move gives the Vikings some additional offensive line depth on their roster. Um, Derisaw and Brian O'Neill are locked in starters at tackle. As the two best players on the Vikings O-line, Ezra Cleveland and Ed Ingram have started every game at two guard spots, at the two guard spots, but 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 Dalton Reisner and Blake Brennan are mixed in with the first team during practices or candidates, particularly Reisner, to enter the starting lineup at some point. Kevin O'Connell has been adamant that the Vikings will play their best five. At center, it seems Austin Schlotman this season, ever since Garrett Bradbury suffered a back injury early week one, but Bradbury could be back this weekend against the Chiefs. With Ole Udo out for the season, David Quisenberry is the swing tackle. Adenogy slots in behind him as offensive tackle four on the roster. So, honestly, when we picked him up, it was said he was a guard. But he's played both guard and tackle. It does make sense that he will be a backup tackle also, but I think he's also a backup guard. But let's talk about it. Um, with uh, Adenogy in there, Schlotman's played good. I have no qualms about Schlotman. 
you will hear me say that I think this offensive line has paid well, except for the freaking their their game planning against our right guard. They're Ed Ingram. They're game planning against them. They're taking advantage of them. I've seen bonehead plays by him. I've seen missed blocks. I've seen him fall down, touching nobody twice in this last game. Thank God it didn't affect the play. Um, but and he's also whiffed. Thank God it didn't affect the play. But there was one time, or there was two times in particular, the always the big splash plays, and they're usually by Ingram. The the hit. Um, Kirk Cousins getting his arm hit, and also we getting a second and one running play blown up because he missed his block. Literally missed his block while he was pulling and almost tripped TJ Hawkinson, who couldn't get to his block. Play blown up. Those are the things that are going to make a difference in a game, especially a close one. And Ed Ingram is still, I'm, I'm telling you, Left tackle, right tackle, fine. Cleveland playing better than he's ever had. Schlotman ranked 12th amongst centers in the league right now. Um, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. And that's a PFF grade. But the eye test is showing it too. Schlotman's doing fine. Um, I have no qualms about him. I'm honestly, I, let's go with Schlotman. Because, you know, Bradbury, if he's hurt and he can't play, the last time he came back from an injury was... You know, he was just he got destroyed in that game. So hopefully he's completely healthy and ready to go. But Schlotman has been playing good. And I wasn't him coming out of training camp. I was not impressed. Believe me. But now he's, he's showing more experience. He's getting in there. He's a bigger body. Bradbury, I guess, could get to the second level better. He maybe has more experience, but Schlotman's proven is proven himself and i'm pretty happy this guy is going to be a viking so and then quisenberry i think he was a better left a better left tackle than um Ole udo unfortunately udo got hurt but and we had to get um and bring up quisenberry but we got quisenberry and uh akeem Adenogy at the same time i went to do a video about quisenberry and him and i i did not have him pulled up so i cut the video short but I meant to do a video about him. Now, let, let's read what the NFL draft experts thought of him. Player bio, identity. Yeah, I'm pronouncing it right. Was an all instinct. Here we go. Was an all district player as a junior and senior in Garland High School in Texas. He played both offensive tackle and defensive end at Garland, but eventually became an old lineman full time after suffering a turf toe injury. Kansas was smart to sign him for the front front five as he started all 12 games as a true freshman six at left tackle six at right tackle identity earned honorable mention all big 12 notice that year as a freshman as well as after his sophomore season when he again started 12 games 11 at left tackle one at right tackle he had surgery on both shoulder labrums after 2017 season but that did not affect his play as a junior as league coaches voted him second team all conference for his play in 12 starts at left tackle. He was an honorable mention pick with 12 starts at left tackle in 2019 while earning captain's letters. Adenogy's brother, Masood, uh, played offensive line at the Air Force Academy. An over, overview of him, durable four-year starter at Taku, might be asked to prove himself as an interior blocker at the next level. Adenogy understands and displays technique, but it tends to get sloppy when his footwork gets him behind in the rep. He was an imperfect fit in Kansas, move-oriented running game, but could compete for a roster spot in a man-blocking scheme where he should be able to play with better control, consistency, and push at the point of attack. His experience at tackle boosts his past pro credentials if he moved if moved inside. So these are good numbers here. 40-yard um, dash, 517, it's a lineman. 10-yard splits, lineman, but vertical jump, 34, broad jump, 9-7. Bench press, 26. You kind of want to see that closer to 30, but this is his, um, I would, his size, he's apparently th 314 now, not 302. He's 6'4", 302, arm length, 33 and a third, hands, 10 inches. I love that. Arms, I would love to see that over 34, but those are still pretty good. 
Um, a lot of there's some little nitpicky things that probably put him down in the sixth round. And but here's his strengths: has attributes and traits inside, has snapped in practice. Um, grip strength is stay connected to blocks when feet are right. That's a um, I agree with that. Lands hands with good accuracy for improved leverage. He has showed that in some of the film that I saw. Looks comfortable when he gets to the fire out drive blocker. Rolls hips under hands at point of attack. Lower leg drive at generate movement. He clears the technique and has been taught and learned. Widens out with good balance and pass sets. Keep chin tucked and head back at the punch. Change of direction against rush counters should be adequate at guard. Now here's his weakness, and these will probably show these show up in film, I guess. Um, labor's somewhat getting out of his stance. I don't see that. Footwork gets sloppy at times. Do see that. Uh, needs to tighten up settle, uh, settle steps to prevent being knocked off balance. Um, more so that he overreacts to plays. He overreacts to plays. Can't get too much backside cutoff as a tackle. Um, below average athletic ability to block and adjust in space. I think that's where I'm talking about. Um, has issue maintaining body control through engagement. I don't know. Uh, he engaged pretty good. Gets caught up in slide, 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 lunge at the top, top of rush. May not possess foot quickness to run rushers up and around the arc as a tackle. Doesn't display enough recovery athleticism in pass pro. So this dude's only 20, 25 years old. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy that we picked him up. Um, if you're going to want a backup of it, you're going to want a backup of this caliber where he was thought of and started at left tackle for Cincinnati played guard against Aaron Donald in the Super Bowl and in almost one, right? So guys, this was a good pickup. Quasi, we had one of our biggest problems is we had we did not have any offensive line depth. He goes out and get Quisenberry. He goes out and gets Akeem Adenogy. I like those two pickups. You're gonna see it pay off um at some point. We're lo losing Cleveland probably after this year because he's going to make more money marketing himself as a left tackle. So he needs to do that. We probably can't afford to keep him. So having a Blake Brandle, having an Adenogy fight it out in preseason to take over that left guard spot or re-signing Reisner or who knows, Ed Ingram Miracle decides to play every down and and does not cause us uh, <laughs> the headaches he's has caused us. So I, I like the fact that we got the competition in there. It's paying off. You, you may not think this, but we are a better line than last year. We are, we are a Kirk cousins has time to throw. He hasn't been sacked a very much. Um, he's in the middle as much as he has been last year. He's in the middle of getting sacked. The pressures are still there, but at, from week one to week five, there has been improvements. And even PF, even PFF and all these people are ranking the Vikings and having a, a pretty dang good line. Our eye test tells us different. And the eye test is because of our right guard. Honestly, you replace Ed Ingram with anybody on our, anybody on our team, Reisner, uh, Danagy, well, maybe I don't know about identity. I think he might be about the same as that Ingram, but you put you replace him with Brandle, you replace him with Reisner. We have solved fifty to eighty percent of our problem in the offensive line. Now, make sure you comment below. Enter my contest for the Justin Jefferson autographed jersey. Let's go. Let's go. Cue the music. <laughs> Thank you.